From the very beginning, Rico Nasty's love for music was a fiery passion that knew no bounds, influenced by raw energy of old school mosh pits and forging her own path in the industry. Her musical journey is one of self-discovery and self-expression. ABC's Phil Lipoff sat down with the 26-year-old rapper, redefining the boundaries of hip-hop one song at a time. When the times was rough, I would look up and pray. I make my own money. I don't need your money. Rage, rap, and Rico Nasty. Her energy-packed, angst-filled shows built around her punk persona, complete with hair-raising screams and melodic flows. Born Maria Cecilia Simone Kelly in New York and raised in Maryland, Rico's eclectic music taste comes from her parents, her childhood filled with everything from hip-hop to grunge. I love the polarity of it all. Like, I loved knowing about stuff that was before my time and knowing about stuff that was going on during my time. Because, like, amongst family, my mom listens to a lot of different music. Like, my mom would listen to Duffy and Amy Winehouse and Shakira. And my dad would listen to, like, Oyster 5 9 and, like, Nas and Jay Z and Eminem. <laughs> That diverse range of artistry became the soundtrack of Rico's life. And just like some of her favorite artists, feeling like an outsider got her started in a dubious way. You get expelled from school. Oh, God. Right? Yeah. What was that, what was that about? And because that did change the course. I went to boarding school. I wanted to get out of that school so bad. I didn't want to be there. And I just didn't know how to do it. And then I smoked. And then that's how you do it, clearly. Rico's creativity and freedom of expression stifled in that bubble, just about to burst. So that happens, you go to public school. I go to public school, and I'm there for about a year. And I drop a mixtape. And that's when Rico Nasty was like a thing. Rico! We were at one of her shows in LA where her energy was infectious. The artist that is Rico Nasty emerging her sophomore year of high school, dropping mixtapes, Summer's Eve, The Rico Story, and Sugar Trap, a genre she created, the bubbly sound that blends trap and metal music combined with vibrant rhythms. Welcome to my sugar trap. Rico's signature is her guttural scream. Born in the studio after her longtime producer asked her to scream like she was in a horror movie for the single Rage. Her latest song released, Turn It Up, off her new EP, A Nasty Summer, the track highlighting the rap star's raspy, unique voice, accompanied by her trademark hardcore lyrics. Don't call me paranoid because I'm just used to being caught. Old school mosh pits and screaming act as a cathartic release for both Rico and her fans. I tried therapy and I was consistent, but I'm, I'm not as consistent as I am with doing shows. Like I do shows all the time. And if I can use that as therapy, then I will. Because that's why they come to the shows. They use it as therapy as well. Now becoming her own businesswoman, Rico excited to take her business ventures to new highs. Literally. I'm selling my own strain of marijuana. It's called Road Rage. and. The craziest thing about it is I got expelled for smoking weed. So, you know, to have this full circle moment, like, wow, that's crazy. Y'all tried to kick me out. And I'm here, baby. That's crazy. She says that I'm here. She is here. <laughs> she is. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.